Hi, Swapmates! Welcome back! Before anything else, on behalf of the whole team, I would like to say thanks to all our viewers. So last August, we launched this channel and we started this series called It's Okay Not To Be Okay where we talked about different issues like insecurity, loneliness, worry, fear, and anxiety. Today will be our last episode for this series and here with me is the Senior Pastor of Emmanuel Christian Fellowship, Pastor Nina Salito. Hi Jess, thank you for having me. Pang last talaga, praise God. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome po, Pastor. So today we will talk about depression. So ano mm-hmm. po ba yung depression? Wow, this is really a big Mm. Uh, topic. It is actually. According to studies, yung depression, it's a common and serious medical uh, illness that negatively affects the way we think, we feel, and we act. So, nandiyan po yung uh, feeling of sadness mm-hmm. or yung loss of interest sa mga activities na ine-enjoy mo before. Mm-hmm. Nandiyan din yung feeling of worthlessness and even yung thoughts of death and suicide. So, according po sa World Health Organization, uh, approximately 280 million people have depression. Oh, that's a lot and that's very alarming. Actually, it is 280 million. And sabi po nila na yung depression is a common uh, illness and it could be triggered by many different factors. Mm-hmm. Tapos, mm-hmm. pwede rin po siyang maging serious health condition and at its worst, it could lead to yun nga po, suicide. So, dito sa Japan, uh, according to a 2020 study, ang leading motive daw po for suicide mm-hmm. is health problems which includes both yung physical and uh, mental and that nga po is yung depression. So, Pastor, today, uh, I have a few questions that I want to ask and these are the most common questions that pop up whenever we talk about depression. So una po, is depression a sin? Is it a sin to be depressed or to feel anxious or uh, any mental or emotional pain? Is it a sin? Kasi may mga magsasabi po na, di ba Christian ka? Bakit ka pa na de-depressed? Bakit, ka, bakit mo nararamdaman yan? And sometimes it is said in a condescending way. Uh, it's good na inasme yan, no? because a lot of people are thinking it's a sin and it adds insult to injury. It happens to all of us. In fact, to many of us, lalo ngayon yung klima ngayon, ngayong winter ay malamig and so may tinatawag na SAD or Seasonal Affective Disorder na talagang uh, malungkot tayo. Natapos yung Pasko and then papasok yung mas malalim na winter and so it, it happens to all of us. That's why I think they said na madaming pwedeng maka-trigger po ano sa depression. So, um I want to ask if ano po yung mga possible na pwedeng nating gawin to overcome or conquer depression. First one is connect with reality that uh, we live in a fallen world. Uh, before Genesis chapter 3, everything was perfect, but when sin entered the world, ay talaga naman death, decay and uh, all these problems ay dumating sa atin. And uh, sabi nga ng Romans chapter 8 verse 22, the planet is groaning. And so uh, talagang pain is real and it happens to many of us. And uh, also, kay David sa Psalms 42, sabi niya, My tears have been my food all day long. And the people around me are saying, where is your God? That is really heavy. And so yung pain nangyari sa hari at hindi lang yun, depression is also real. It happens to Elijah for it. For three years, everything was well sa kanya. And then, biglang dumating itong si Queen Jezebel ng Israel at sa'yo, papapatay kita and nag-start yung depression sa kanya. Mm, I agree with that, Pastor. Pain is real. That's why I think we really have to be careful how we respond to people when they open up to us about the pain that they're struggling with. Uh, we have to be careful na maging hindi, na hindi natin ma-invalidate ba yung nararamdaman nila. Kasi... It takes great courage for someone to open up about it. So we have to be very careful talaga. So, um, Pastor, since you mentioned about the Prophet Elijah, um, depression can happen to anyone, even to a prophet. no? So can you tell us more about it, Pastor? What led to his depression? Una, una, we need to acknowledge that he had a great experience. So he prayed for rain uh, and it came after a seven-year drought. And then after that, I, for three years, naging maayos ang Israel and the nation had turned to 
I'll turn back to God and then may show down yung mga propeta 850 around 850 prophets ay natalo niya and then after that meron siyang grief experience so you can imagine mataas ang adrenaline ng isang tao maybe after a concert after a a a a, a good experience then biglang may problema sa case ni um, Elijah ang nangyari sa kanya ay naging uh, meron siyang emotional breakdown yung sinabi ni Jezebel na ipapapatay kita kita nagroon ng fear sa kanya at nagkaroon siya ng comparison. Sabi niya, I'm not better than my ancestors. So, yung comparison, nagpapalalim yan sa atin. And then, exhausted siya. He walked for so long doon sa wilderness. And then, exaggeration. Masyado siyang naglungkot-lungkutan. And so, makikita natin doon na talagang it was really heavy for him. And then, isolation. Yun yung sanang wag na gagawin natin. Pero, he isolated himself. He was so exhausted. Then, that's it. That's the disaster. And then it will happen talaga sa kanya. Uh, so, yung depression po talaga, no, it can really happen to anyone, including us Christians. So, you've mentioned po, uh, uh, something important to do is to connect with reality. Uh, meron pa po ba kayong i-add to that? Well, also, after connecting with reality, we need to connect with God. That is really very important. Um, kay David, after niyang sinabi yon, sabi niya, Why my soul are you downcast? Why are you so disturbed? Ang sabi niya rin, put your hope in God. So in other words, it's important na we should connect with the Lord. Perhaps you are disconnected with God after all. Kaya siguro heavy itong uh, nangyayari sa'yo. Perhaps you are disobedient to Him. Or perhaps God is getting your attention. Sabi ni C.S. Lewis, I, uh, God whispers in our pleasures, speaks to our conscience, but shouts in our pain. It is His way to get our attention or to rouse a deaf world. And so, it's important to realize yung ating relasyon sa Panginoon. So, connect with reality, connect with God, and what if the person says po na, yes, I have been praying, I've been reading the Bible and doing all those spiritual stuff, but I still have this pain or this feeling, what else can I do? Well, of course, connect with God, but you need to connect with yourself as well. You need to understand what's going on with your life. Do you have enough sleep? Do you eat healthy, like more or maybe less? Or um, do you handle your emotions well? Or masyado kang nagdudwell sa negative thoughts mo? Or sa mga telenovela? Or sad songs? And maybe you have a particular illness that triggers it. So psychologically, physiologically, may chemical imbalance or hormonal imbalance na. So, you need to understand yourself talaga. Mm, uh, yeah, I, I think I, I would have to agree with that, Pastor. We really have to connect with ourselves then and take good care of ourselves. So, um, another question po, Pastor. As Christians, would you advise someone with depression to seek professional help? Kasi po, um, a lot cannot open up about it or they're ashamed, nahihiya sila na mag-open up about it kasi andyan po yung fear na baka ma-judge sila. Um, for my, from my personal experience po, um, when there was a time na I was under a lot of emotional stress, sinabihan po ako na, bakit ka pa stress Mag-pray ka lang. And I understood where she was coming from. I know na prayer is important. However, at that moment po, Um, I felt na parang medyo na-invalidate yung nararamdaman ko and it felt na parang hindi yun yung gusto kong marinig mm. at that moment. I feel bad for you, no? Kasi nga, uh, people are, sometimes are insensitive and we stigmatize this. We we need to remember, sabi nga natin, we need to connect with reality that happens to everyone and we need to address it. So, ang pwede pa natin gawin is we need to connect with others. Mm-hmm. Isolation is yung wag mong gagawin. Look for support. Look for people around you or find a person whom you trust and you pour out your emotion. Kasi after mo mailabas yung emotion na yon, it will be helpful. And then you can also uh, ask for assistance or reach out like dito sa swap. They can uh, mamaya siguro pwedeng uh, uh, kayong uh, so, uh, mag, uh, mag, mag email or whatever so that ma-address yung inyong uh, sitwasyon. So you will never win this alone. So you need to connect with Uh, others but specifically you need also to connect with the expert mm-hmm. because they know well so spiritually you connect with a pastor a pastor mm-hmm. that will understand that will help you that will counsel you and a spiritual counselor as well there there are trained spiritual counselors 
that uh, Christian counselors na pwedeng tumulong sa atin. May mga therapy siguro, may mga mm-hmm. sessions, and higit sa lahat sa doctor. Mm-hmm. Because as we have mentioned, maybe it triggers a certain uh, illness na makakatulong sa'yo. Baka kailangan mo ng pang-balance ng sa'yong hormone, mm-hmm. And uh, that person can prescribe. Kasi kung tayo may karamdaman, di ba, we go to the doctor. So it's the same thing. I think po kasi siguro parang na medyo na-overlook yung mental health and na, na may stigma nga po mm-hmm. na uh, about it. So um, it's really very important to have a strong support group and at worst nga po, seek professional help kasi they are trained in that field. So, siguro last question po, Pastor. How can we encourage our viewers who are suffering from depression right now? Okay, sa mga viewers po natin na uh, nakakaranas po uh, nito, the one word that we have today is connect. So, connect with reality. It, it's real. It happens to everyone. I-address nyo po yan. But you need to connect with God. It's very important because He's the only one that could fill the void in your heart. And uh, also, connect with yourself. Try to understand yourself. And also, connect with others. It's important because no man is an island. Ang uh, sa Genesis, I, everything was perfect. The Lord created perfectly. But ang sabi ng Panginoon, it is good for a man. It is not good for a man to be alone. And of course, connect with the expert. That's very important. So, we live in, a, in an imperfect world. But we have a perfect God that could weave through the problems of life for His glory and for your own good. So, you connect with God. It's not okay to be okay for a while, but eventually, you need to be okay. Okay po ba? Kasi nung sabi ng Philippians 4.13, just I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Yes, that's true. So, uh, thank you so much, Pastor, for being here with us today and for shedding light on this topic. So, ngayon po, I want to take this time to address our viewers. If you are struggling right now, if you're going through a difficult time or you are suffering in silence or you know anyone who does, kung may kakilala po kayo ngayon na nagsastruggle, please allow us to pray for you. We want to take this time to pray for you. So, Pastor Nino. Let's pray. Thank you, uh, Jess. Lord, maraming salamat sa araw na ito sa aming mga viewers. Lord, our hearts are restless until we find our rest in Thee. And so Lord, you are asking us and you are you have an invitation. Come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And so Lord, for those people who are sick and tired of life, Lord, salamat because your grace is sufficient for them. And there are people out there who cares for them. Who, uh, who care for them and who love them, Lord. And so I pray, Father, that may your blessing be upon them. I pray, Lord, that they will reach out. Perhaps they could uh, send, send an email to us so that we can help them, Lord. So dalangin ko, Panginoon, na tulungan nyo ang bawat isa na narito. Because we live in an imperfect world, but you are our perfect God, and you will supply our needs. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you po ulit, Pastor Nino. Thank you for that prayer. Thank you for um, our viewers. Um, once again, thank you, Swapmates. This concludes our series, It's Okay Not to Be Okay. We hope that this series has been a blessing and an encouragement to many. So please connect with us as we have mentioned today many times. Connect. Please connect with us through our Facebook and Instagram page. We'll link, the, uh, we'll link them down below. And thank you for watching. See you again soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Jess. Connect. Connect. Happy New Year, Swapmates! So, Ate Darl, anong takeaway mo dito sa ating topic na about overcoming depression? What struck me the most is yung one word lang talaga, yung connect. You connect to yourself, to God, and to others. Kasi, ka nga, I think most people become depressed because they tend not to acknowledge their real feelings. So, yun, mga kaswapmates, it is okay not to be okay. But make sure that you will be okay eventually. That's why we need to, we need to connect to God and to others. That's true. So, once again, thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And, and hit the notification button for future updates. Bye, see you. See you.